My lovely viewers, I'm kindly asking you all to support my brother, African, by subscribing to his YouTube channel. He's got great content on his channel. Please let's help him get to 1k subscribers. Link in description and in comment section. Thank you. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. In Lusaka. I'm your host, Given Banda. Tonight on the program, we discuss the expulsion of PF members of Parliament. The Mao Sampa PF faction through Morgan Ngona, the installed Secretary General, yesterday allegedly expelled nine Patriotic Front members of Parliament, who include, remember, Mtale, Mtotwe Kafuaya, Mlenga Fuwe, Bran Mundubile, Musonda Mpakata, Christopher Kangombe, Ronald Chitotela, and Nixon Tonight on the program, I host Patriotic Franchise Person for Information and Publicity, Ambassador Manu Mwamba, to help me discuss this issue further. Ambassador, good evening. You're welcome to the program. And what is happening to the Patriotic Front? Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. It's uh, utter lawlessness. These mm -hmm. matters are before um, the Lusaka High Court. We mm -hmm. have a matter before Judge uh, Timoth Katenekwa, uh, where Mao Sampa challenged his suspension and mm -hmm. obtained um, an injunction. Then we have matters before Judge Stumbeko at Chocho, mm -hmm. where we have sued Mao Sampa that he held illegally a conference and he purports to hold himself as PF president. And we have another matter before the magistrate court, Lusaka magistrate court, Honorable Itia, where mm. we took Mao Sampa for the various uh, 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 criminal offenses he has committed against the PF by signing letters in the name of the PF, mm. by writing letters in the name of the PF, when in fact he has no such authority. Um, the latest action where he's written these uh, uh, fresh letters mm. of expulsion, he wrote, uh, them for suspension and just proceeded to make them for expulsion are uh, not only illegal but they are an affront to the matters happening uh, in the courts of law so he's undermining the court proceedings he's undermining what we are doing in court he's disregarding with impunity matters that are before court he's raising anxiety in the nations that uh, you know uh, democracy is under attack. He's uh, a, a, a raised political temperature with his careless actions. We, however, have been quick to say these actions are not being done by Mao Sampa. They're actually orchestrated by the state. We have fingered President Akainde Ichilema as being at the center of this entire process. Is it fair that the president's name should always come up in these issues? The, the the, the, the confusion that's in the, the, the patriotic front. Don't you think this is dent in the name of the president, especially in as far as perhaps these allegations cannot be proven? I know you're point, the, the, quite a number of pointers when you go back to the general conference. Uh, you people point at the, the, the state security or state police that, that camped at Mulungushi. But isn't this being unfair on the head of state? So the, the head of state is at the center of this crisis. Mm. is the one that is um, threatening national peace and security, is the one that is undermining our democracy, is using state institutions to attack the opposition. The holding of this clear illegal conference, because the PF has a party constitution, mm. we've deposited it with the registrar. It stipulates how you can hold a conference. So you have someone just from the street protected mm. by... By the state, he, he holds a gathering of about 200 people, mostly non-PF members, mostly they were UPND, and mm. calls himself PF president. And that lawlessness is perpetuated. They put pressure on the registrar of society, even removes the registrar of society so that they could implement this action and put the so-called office bearers of Mao Sampa 
uh, to supplant mm. the legal office bearers. They proceed to take to matters in parliament and actually change leadership at parliament against the provision of the constitution and against the provision of the law. So when we say President Agai the HLMA is involved, we are not dreaming the actions. Today we were in court. Mm. Our lawyers, we began a private prosecution as soon as Mr. Mao Sampa held this conference. Because leading to the conference, we had reported these matters to the police. And the police did nothing. We said they, there are these persons purporting to be members of the PF and they want to hold an mm. activity in the name of the PF. We wrote, I think, three letters to the police. We reported, we went to Lusaka Central Police. Even in the occurrence book that was reported, the police took no action. In mm. fact, they protected the person promoting the lawlessness, they ensured that the lawless activity at Mungushi takes place. Mm. The Deputy Inspector General of Police was on hand to clear the fingerprints for the so-called office bearers. You have members who attended the conference like mm -hmm. Gunasi, who came on air and demonstrated that that washam was illegal and even mm -hmm. stated that how can I, me, Gunasi, be the chair? Am I Davis Chama or am I Emmanuel Pankata to hold the uh, mm -hmm. conference? So the illegality stem uh, 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 from just the beginning. And we are aware that the president has weaponized uh, law enforcement agencies against the opposition. You know the regular arrests that are done against the opposition. Mm -hmm. You know the various activities that have been perpetrated against members of the opposition. And so when we finger that the president is involved, we are not engaged in rhetoric. Mm -hmm. We have a litany of evidence. The matters before court today, we reported it on 25th October, a day after uh, 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 his so-called conference. Mm. Well, with time, the, the court, I think, took time to process the matters. And the mm. matters came mm. today and we received a letter from the DPP. Ambassador, there's, there's a school of thought that these issues need to be sorted internally and, not, and, and are not issues that need to be, you know, taken to court. As, as others feel nothing will come out of it. Do you have any intentions of sitting down with Honorable Mausam to resolve these issues internally? It's like asking us to sit with a thief. A thief steals your TV then you're asking us to settle with a thief. You have Mao Sampa, who was suspended at the time, who had no right to hold this meeting. He is enabled by the state to hold a conference. They proceed to recognize him as such, as PF president. There's an attempt to steal the patriarchy front. And people think that this is an internal matter. This mm. is not an internal matter. If it was an internal matter, we were going to engage. Can we discuss with President Daka in the HLM over PF issues? Because there's a one behind it. So how do we discuss with uh, the UPND over PF affairs? So we have been very categorical that we will go to institutions that this country has set for itself. The judiciary is part of uh, resolving disputes in this country. If there is misconduct in the judiciary, we'll call it out. Mm. This afternoon we held a press conference at which our chairperson for information for, for, for legal affairs, Honorable mm. George Sanga, who's our MP for Lukasha in Kasama, he was very categorical. He says these matters are so grave. The way you are raising political temperature in this country, the assault on democracy, the atrocities that are being committed against the Patriotic Front may require that the Chief Justice himself descends as high court judge, as prison judge, to resolve this crisis. Because this is just not another matter. This is a matter that is threatening national security of our country. It is so serious that today, if we don't restrain our members, you can have um, a countrywide protest. But we are a lawful party, and we've been appealing to the UPND government, that they should be responsible, leave PF matters to the PF. That's what Article 60 of the Constitution prescribes. We as a political party are prescribed in Article 60 of uh, our mm -hmm. Republican Constitution. 
we have responsibility to promote national unity. We have a, pro, a responsibility to promote security of this country. We have a responsibility to ensure that we are multi-ethnic in our, in our role. We have responsibilities. But these responsibilities and duties that we have, mm. it is important and imperative that the president respects the constitution. He doesn't interfere and come into the work of the Patriotic Front. So we don't know how long we shall hold our members. Every time there's an activity like this, mm. they keep on calling us. What do we do? Two people are going to court. There's no relief from court. You are writing to the police. There's no relief and, from And that the was police. going to be my next question. Should Zambians expect any of this to end any time soon? Look, if this was a normal case, mm. the judiciary would sit and would give it priority. I've never seen a court injunction that takes forever. Mm. The purpose of an injunction is exactly that, that there is an emergency and you need to deal with the matter. You are dealing with a mass political party with members countrywide from Shangombo to Nakonde, from Zambezi to Chama, from Chipata to Muflira, from, from Wengwa up to Kasama. You are not dealing with a private club. This is a public institution in its own right as member of the opposition. Therefore, we leaders in the PF, so are the leaders in the executive, ought to be responsible. So far, we have seen none of that. In fact, we have seen a perpetuation of an attack on the patriotic front where the police have disregarded, even when impunities and atrocities are mm. being perpetrated against the PF, the police choose to do nothing. When we go to the Registrar of Society, she, she's even removed for doing her job. Because you remember, she, we issued a subpoena against uh, that office. Mm -hmm. Because the Speaker of the National Assembly had changed the leadership in Parliament, purporting that she was relying on the records from the Registrar of Societies. So we went to court. And the court issued an order against the Registrar of Societies. And the registrar complied with the order and gave us the list of office bearers. Mm. That exposed that the Speaker of the National Assembly, number one, lied that she didn't make changes in Parliament for leader of the opposition and leader or uh, whip of the opposition on the records that were at the Registrar of Societies. In fact, the records at the Registrar of Societies demonstrated that uh, even our 2021 submissions that we had given to our office mm. were not affected. What was subsisting were the office bearers from 2015 to 2021. You will remember that she attempted to uh, deregister the PF because she said we hadn't submitted fingerprints for mm -hmm. the new office bearers. So the records had not been changed from 2015. And the speaker's action were not only illegal, but we are also in violation of Article 72, sub Article 2 of the Constitution. Mm. So you have an attack coming from Parliament where your leaders of the party are changed. There is recognition now, forced rec recognition of the Mao Sampa group, illegally so. We have matters in court that are dragging, including an injunction. An injunction is an emergency application for immediate relief. Does it worry you that this may go up to 2026? Before we even go to 2026, the mm. pressure is now, the political mm. pressure is now. These matters are threatening national peace and security. These matters, if, if uh, the executive continue to be responsible, are mm. threatening our peace. Because our members are saying, Tuala kutukira kuisa mwewa nitu wakwaleza. police, does it mean that you have to break the constitution? You have to abandon the rule of law. You have to abandon, um, you have to abandon justice. We are a democracy. We are a constitutional democracy. And there is a requirement that we all respect the rule of law. And we respect our constitution. When you look at what is happening in, in your party, do you have any regrets as to readmitting Honorable Mao Sampa back to the party? No, no, no. We can't be blamed for being good. Mm. We were good. 
uh, President Galungu and his team felt that they needed to readmit Mr. Mao Sampa, despite the atrocities he committed against us. He left the party, formed another party, went in alliance with the UPND, uh, fought us, insulted us. But in 2017, the party said, no, let's readmit him. He has applied. And we readmitted him and gave him some of the biggest privileges that we didn't even afford our members. He stood as mayor, or we sponsored him as uh, Lusaka mayor after the death of our earlier mayor. And even in 2021, we adopted him, despite his uh, treacherous records against the party. So we can't be blamed for being good. We can't be blamed because we, forg we forgave him. We can't be blamed for exercising goodness and forgiveness. We cannot. It is him to be blamed. Mm. Do you have... Um can you tell us, or do you have any idea why these nine members of parliament specifically have been expelled? I know you're calling it an illegal action, but can you tell us why you think, can, if you are to speculate, why specifically these nine members of parliament? Uh, we need to emphasize mm. that Mr. Mao Sampa has no authority, no mandate, no, no directive from the party to suspend or expel anyone. He doesn't have that authority. That we have to repeatedly state. Mm. We have stated that we have rushed to court to demonstrate to court that Mr. Mao Sampa and his, his, his activities are an illegality because they held the conference outside the provision of, uh, of the law, of the, our own statute. So the letters he's been writing, the subsequent activities and appointments remain illegal, totally illegal. We know that uh, he's a stooge of the UPND. He's a tool the UPND are using to attempt to destroy the Patriotic Front. Mm. Dr. Fred Membe also held a presser earlier today saying the expulsion of the nine Patriotic Front members of parliament is not an internal matter but about President Haka in the Hitchlema wanting to obtain majority seats in parliament. Again, I'll ask this question. The UPND feel you members of the opposition have joined forces to sell a narrative that democracy is under attack. The president and, and the UPND members feel they are so busy trying to bring development to the country and such that they do not have time, you know, to meddle in the affairs of the patriotic front. Are you selling the narrative that democracy is under attack? Who has pressured the uh, registrar of society? Who has removed the Registrar of Society? Does the opposition have the powers to remove the Registrar of Societies? Mm. Who has illegally changed the opposition leadership in Parliament? Do we have powers to make mm. those changes in Parliament? Who has stopped the opposition from having political rallies? Is it the opposition or it mm. is a state? Who is engaged in reducing the democratic space who is diminishing democratic space who is threatening the media who's arresting members of the media who's arresting members of the opposition when they speak it is a state it's an executive and we know the ploy the ploy is very simple this is a government that has failed our country is experiencing the highest cost of living in living memory mm. the price of goods and services are totally unaffordable for our people. The latest issues of poverty, mm. of unemployment, of disease burden are haunting this country. And the opposition have been extremely responsible. Last month, the opposition sat together, held a press conference, and advised the president that uh, the direction of this country uh, was not proper. Mm. We felt that the action of the UPND government were actually dangerous to the well-being of this country. We said, can we speak this escalating cost of goods oh, that is affecting our people? Can we discuss alternative policies? Can we, Mr. President, see you? Can you de-escalate the political tension in this country? Can you respect democratic norms and practices? Can you put your hand off law enforcement agencies so that they operate independently and autonomously? Mm. 
Mm. What did we receive in return? Insults. They called the opposition later. They said we're desperate, that we're bitter. They even ridiculed those that didn't have members of parliament uh, that, you know, they had uh, no authority or local stand. The opposition has been extremely responsible. So we cannot be accused of being the ones fomenting or fermenting lawlessness when it's being perpetrated by uh, 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 by the executive. It's a feel, there's a feeling that it's a, it's a political gimmick aimed at creating public sympathy. What is the price of millimil? What is the rate of the exchange today? Who is perpetrating? Who are the levers of mm. power to control this? Why is the price of minimum very expensive? Who has caused the disaster and tragedy in Chingola? Who has powers to stop illegal mining? But we cannot be blamed for the omissions and commissions of the executive. The executive has abandoned this country. The executive has abandoned its role of taking care of our people. They are engaged in preserving themselves. All these actions against the PF are looking at 2026, where they want a weakened opposition. Because they are aware that if we went to election with a strong opposition, they'll be replaced. So the, instead of expending energies to developing this country, to attending to the crisis that we have, they choose these kind of politics. Can you say you're free. a strong opposition in your current state? No, we, are. we are. We yeah. are. That's why we are being attacked like this. If we were of no consequence or bearing, there will be no attention paid to the PF. But they are aware that after the assault they've done on the PF, with the arrest, over 268 of our members have been arrested. Over 169 of our motor vehicles have been seized. The relentless attack on public media, where they call the PF as a criminal enterprise, a set of thieves. All this they've done in the last two and a half years, they've borne no fruit. Mm, but how strong the are you? The PF remains together. But how strong are you when it seems to me and those watching that, that there are two factions, the Mao Sampalet faction and the other faction? How strong are you? There's only one PF. Mm. There's a UPND stooge that is mm. being forced on the PF. That we are troubled, what we are troubled with, we have a snake in the house. Do you burn down the house or you become careful and ensure that you capture the snake and throw it out. That's what we are engaged in. Mm. So our enemies are in the house. The snake is in the house. The quick way is to just light the house and burn it down. That's why people say Cheney, Kafomenian political party, because we are in the natural motamireke. It will ensure that the police na kumakoti tabamireke just form another political party. No. So that's why I'm giving that analogy. That there is a snake in the house, what do we do? Mm. Do we burn down the house so that the snake dies with our house? But this house is so valuable. This is a political party that is 23 years old. You know, it, it is a party that ordinary people look to to save them. It's a party of workers, party of peasants, party of uh, 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 of street vendors, of marketeers. It's a party our people affiliate with. They identify themselves with it. Despite the mistakes we've made in the past, despite the failures we've made in the past, our people are still grouped around the patriarchy front. The thread keeping us is that this is a poor people's party. This is a party that people identify with. Our colleagues in the UPND are deemed that they promote foreign interest, multinationals and foreign companies, that they've no, they don't take care of uh, issues of uh, our people, that between uh, an employer and an employee, they'll side with an employer. Between a foreigner and a local, they'll side with a foreigner. Between a multinational and a local company, they'll pay a multinational, not pay our people. So the PF must survive for the purpose 
of our democracy. Right. We'll be getting to our phone line shortly. Dear viewer, be sure to call us on the number that will be displaying on the screen in a few seconds. And also remember, you can drop a comment in our comment box on Facebook. It's Millennium TV Zambia this evening. I'm hosting Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, Patriotic Front Chairperson for Publicity and Information. We're discussing the expulsion of nine Patriotic Front members of Parliament. Honorable, before we can accommodate our first set, of course, President Lungu held a press briefing four days ago, and uh, one issue that came out strongly was the fact that he highlighted that the PF is willing to fight to maintain the dignity of the party. That statement has sparked a lot of debates because people feel that it, it is a recipe for, for disaster or, or something that is likely to bring anarchy, especially that he talked about the fact that the Patriotic Front is willing to fight legally, but if those means fail, uh, other means may be taken. What exactly did the president, did President Lungu, mean by that? Now, the president was very clear mm. that this fight is not a legal fight. Mm. He said this fight is multifaceted. Mm. Number one, it's legal. Like what our lawyers are doing, battling with these matters mm. in court. It's political. We politicians must hold activities. We must organize our people to protest against these decisions by the state. We must mm -hmm. come like on radio the way I'm speaking. Mm -hmm. Speak to the issues. It's also civil because we must reach out to the Socialist Party. We must reach out to the church. We must reach out to NGOs and alert them that uh, democracy is under attack. The mm -hmm. attempted liquidation of the Patriotic Front is an attack on the patriotic, uh, on democracy of our country. The illegal actions that are occurring at the Registrar of Societies mm. and at uh, 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 National Assembly mm. are constitutional breaches, and therefore you cannot allow these constitutional breaches to proceed. Mm. All right. Uh, we accommodate our first set, of course, this evening. You're calling us on the number that's right there at the bottom of your screen. You're hosting Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba discussing with me the expulsion of nine Patriotic Front members of Parliament. Remember, you can also drop a comment in our comment box on Facebook. It's Millennium TV Zambia. The number you're getting in touch with us on is 0770813728. That's the number that gets you through to the program this evening. Hello, good evening. 0770813728 is the number that gets you through to the program this evening. Remember that you can also go straight to our Facebook page. It's Millennium TV Zambia. We are hosting Ambassador Emmanuel Mamba, Petroleum Franchise Person for Information and Publicity. Ambassador, before we can uh, accommodate our first set of calls, let me also get your comment on the most topical issue of the week, the essentially mine accident. As of today, we've been informed that... Uh, one person was retrieved alive. Do you think enough is being done to, you know, retrieve the bodies that are trapped under the, in the mine? We initially expressed concern. First, mm -hmm. our deepest um, uh, condolences if bodies have been retrieved to those mm -hmm. that have uh, uh, died. Mm -hmm. um, the, our grief is with the family, and we remain hopeful mm -hmm. that five days on, we mm -hmm. hope that... Uh, the people can be found alive. Right. Ambassador, I'll ask you to hold your thought uh, so that we accommodate our first call. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. We can hear you. Your name? Good evening. We seem to be having a challenge there. See if you can call us back on 0770813728. That's the number that gets you through to the program. And ensure to reduce the volume on your TV. Hello, good evening. We seem to be having a challenge there. Please call us back on the number that's right there at the bottom of your screen. Remember, you can also go to our Facebook page. It's Millennium TV Zambia. Drop a comment there and we'll be glad to hear what you have to say about our topic of discussion this evening. We are hosting Patriotic Front, chairperson for information and publicity. I'm Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba. Remember that you can be part of the conversation by calling us on the number that's right there at the bottom of your screen. Alternatively, you can also leave a comment in our comment box on Facebook. It's Millennium TV Zambia. Ambassador, I'll ask you to carry on with your thoughts. Yes, we're saying that uh, the mm. tragedy that has occurred mm. um, in Shingola is multifaceted. Issues around 
illegal mining uh, that uh, company Senseli was recently awarded a license or renewed license through the Cadasta awards that took place recently in August. Mm -hmm. uh, we are aware that both Zema and the Mine Safety Department um, mm -hmm. raised concerns when they learned that this company had begun operations. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to have had some form of protection from whoever, but uh, these are matters we'll deal with after we've retrieved the bodies, you know, we've mourned ourselves, then we are going to conduct a review of exactly what happened. Um, Zambia depends on mining. 70% of our export earnings come from mining. It's mm -hmm. imperative that um, mm -hmm. uh, we take mining very seriously. The discovery of sujilite gold uh, everywhere across the country requires that we harness it properly. We are of the view mm. that uh, we should diminish the role of foreign investment in this mm. process. We think that we should capacitate ZCCMIH um, in places where we have adequate mineral resources. They should provide the proper investment for the country mm. to have uh, safe mining methods mm. through investment and um, so that the country then can benefit from this resources mm. that God has endowed us with. Mm. I'm aware that this issue was raised in Parliament, the, the, the issue o, o, o about the Senseli mine. Did you anticipate this disaster? Um, wherever illegal mining is taking place, mm -hmm. safety is, is number one sacrificed. Mm. So this was a tragedy to happen. That is why the matter came to Parliament. And Parliament expressed concern Mm. that there was no enforcement by law enforcement agencies, by the Mine Safety Department, mm. and by the Ministry of Mines over these concerns. Mm -hmm. uh, we recognize that our people require jobs, that our mm -hmm. people are living in desperate moments and they would risk their lives just to attempt to salvage a living. In mm -hmm. fact, our people must be commended because they are trying to make a living. But it's a role of government to provide an environment that mm. is safe, that is secure for our people. Right. Dear viewer, you're calling us on 0770 That's the number that gets you through. I'm hosting Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, Patriotic Front Chairperson for Information and Publicity. Be part of the conversation by calling us on 0770 You can also leave a comment in our comment box. Remember our topic of discussion mainly this evening is uh, the expulsion of nine patriotic front members of parliament you can have a say about our topic of discussion this evening ambassador i'll go to our facebook page uh, we seem to be having a challenge with our phone calls uh, we seem to be having a challenge with uh, our network i'll go to our facebook page and read out a comment here and get your, your reaction from that ellington chipoka says i would ask mr mwamba to check his conscience in regards to how he is exposing internal steps of the party. I feel he's one of the people contributing to the mess. Another one says, uh, PF thought they were above the law. They weakened democracy for self-interest, which should not be supported. We are, we are the, we as Zambians appreciate having or heading to having a strong democracy. Another comment says, one thing I have come to realize is that the fight is between PF and HH. What HH has done is that he has put the constitution of the country aside and doing everything out right. He has grabbed all the three arms of government and they are operating under his commands. He has actually not spared any office that has to do with matters regarding the democracy. Uh, another comment reads, the government has killed democracy because they have failed the people of Zambia. Those are a few comments. I'll be reading a few more. Your reaction to these few comments, Ambassador, that I've just read out. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. Every appearance, mm. every statement that I issue is supported usually by our lawyers mm. and the leadership. I'll, I'll usually liaise either with the Vice President or with my Secretary General. Everything that we do, we mm. do it collectively because it's done in the name of the party. Uh, people may not understand our strategies and approaches, but they need to trust us that uh, we, we have a fight that is evolving every day. Mm. And we look at current 
short-term and long-term consequences of what we say, what we release, what we choose to preempt, what we choose to keep away. Um, I'm a seasoned um, media personnel that has been engaged in fights like this. Mm. Uh, I, my, my credentials are totally impeccable. I was a young man when I was fighting the machinery of President Manawas. It was far, far vicious than even this government. So whether he's mm. doubting me, I would ask him to come and take my role. Mm. And I can have peace mm. with my family and uh, allow them to do my job. Mm. However, let's come to the big issues. Mm. This is a fight by President Aka Inde Ichilib and ourselves. And we have not shied away to call it as it is from day one. When Mao Sampa was holding the conference, I issued a statement that look at the number of state security that have secured him. I know how troop movement is done in this country. It's a presidential matter. Look at the number of troops that are at Mulungush. I said, you watch ZNBC. Mm. They are going to say PF has held an extraordinary conference and that they've elected Mao Sampa as um, a presidential candidate. Even when ZNBC know how PF holds its conference. But I predicted, and for sure, that's exactly what happened. Because when the state is engaged in, a, in an activity for us, that I experienced, we can tell. And there has been no credible rebuttal to remove President Daka Inde Ichilema from this process. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.